Welcome back. In states where tall fescue grows, toxicosis can present a real challenge to a herd's health and productivity during the hot season. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brian Baxter has more on a management strategy producers can use to help deal with these challenges. You can't help but be impressed with the green pastures and good-looking cows that call Circle A Angus in southwest Missouri home. This is an operation that was founded in the early 1990s and has been on the grow ever since. The genetics that we've been working on for the last two plus decades has been for efficiency and profitability. So that's been our focus is really trying to get cattle and genetics to fit our environment that we hopefully will uh, um, help impact uh, profitability for other producers across the United States, wherever they may be. Today, Circle A Angus is home to more than 7,500 purebred Angus cows spread across more than 25,000 acres. The Circle A team works to maximize their stocking rates to get the most from their grass. But a serious challenge every year is dealing with the issues caused by tall fescue. Fescue toxicosis is uh, probably the leading thing to losing revenue, and that would be coming through uh, fertility, not fertility, but actually the ability to breed by a spike temperature in that animal. And then of course, you know, if you have grass out there and the animals need to consume it, if their temperature is elevated by fescue toxicity, they're gonna to wanna to shade up or find water, which would lead to more herd health problems, you know, whether it be foot rot or just, you know, a temperature that would create more respiratory situations for that animal or its calves. So you have decreased fertility, decreased milk production, and then grazing time. We also know that fescue has a cost to uh, reproductive performance. Your calving rates can do drop down 25 to 50 percent. And so the cost in overall calf production, the weaning weights, it's all associated with fescue toxicosis. Fescue toxicosis is caused by ergot alkaloids produced by a fungal endophyte that infects Kentucky 31 tall fescue. It uh, costs the industry, the cattle industry, about a billion dollars a year. Now there's another management strategy that reduces the impact of fescue toxicosis. Research and trials conducted at Circle A Angus and other locations show that by applying chaparral herbicide early in the spring, tall fescue seed heads, where the toxin is most prevalent, can be suppressed. The seed head suppression is important because that's where your toxicosis starts from. That all that energy that would go into a stem or go into a seed head is now going into foliage that is more palatable, more higher quality protein as I understand it. What chaparral allows us to do is to go in and suppress the seed head on tall fescue. So making an application uh, within a two to three week time frame before the seed heads actually emerge on fescue uh, keeps the fescue from fescue seed heads from actually coming out. And so when we get into mid-May, uh, late May, we have a pasture, uh, if it is straight Kentucky 31 or these wild type fescues, we have a pasture that is in a very high quality vegetative state. At Circle A Angus, they used chaparral to treat 1,200 acres in 2014 and then increased the treatment area to more than 10,000 acres in 2015. Time after time at Circle A and other locations, the results of using chaparral for fescue seed head suppression were clear. We saw almost a, a 5 to 6 percent bump in conception rate. We saw anywhere from 20 to 30 pounds of gain on cattle on control pastures compared to chaparral treated pastures and then just the overall length of grazing it was able to stay viable for those cattle all the way through into August until we start getting fall rains again. So suppressing seed heads with chaparral uh, it's not uncommon for us to see at least 90 to 95 percent suppression of the tall fescue seed heads and how that plays out in the field in terms of production uh, of cattle uh, we see it almost completely mitigating the issues with toxicosis in the summer. So our cattle are out grazing in the hotter parts of the day where normally they'd be standing in the shade. We're seeing better body condition on cattle because they're able to graze more. We're seeing uh, better stalker performance on our, our stalker cattle and we're also weaning heavier calves. Beyond tackling the fescue toxicosis issue, the use of chaparral also delivers value when it comes to taking out weeds and making room for more grass. What's, what's really neat, I think most producers can go out in their field and find that they need weed control to some level or, of an, or another. 
And to, to go into a fescue pasture that already has issues with toxicosis and being able to go in and control the weeds and also mitigate the effects of toxicosis on the cattle, it's a, it's a win-win situation. I can tell you that Chaparral has eliminated 95% of the weeds in our pasture. It has enhanced our cattle grazeability because of the seed suppression. The cattle want to stay out and graze longer and come out earlier. And Chaparral has also done, I think, a good job of suppressing that seed to where the, the nutrition in the blade of grass is greater. As with many other tasks on the farm or ranch, when it comes to tall fescue seed head suppression with Chaparral, application timing is everything. Uh, performing an application of chaparral within two to three weeks of seed head emergence is, is critical. Uh, during that time frame we get the best seed head suppression uh, and we get um, probably the best weed control. Now as far as timing and preferred timing it would be as close to uh, seed head emergence as possible without actually having seed head emerge in the field. Help in managing tall fescue, removing weeds, and growing more grass on the same acres are all results that will keep chaparral in the toolbox at Circle A Angus. We'll go back and use chaparral again. And using chaparral has helped us, you know, in so many ways, not alone, let alone the seed suppression is a great benefit. So we're getting dual action of chaparral with the seed suppression plus killing all the weeds out there. So with that being said, I mean, you know, why wouldn't you try to do that because you're killing two birds, so to speak, with one stone. And that goes back to us trying to be as efficient as we can. It has worked really well for us, and I think it'll work very well for anybody else trying to gain the same type of goals that you are and trying to increase fertility, reduce the, the heat in your type of cattle from uh, the fescue toxicosis and, uh, you know, weight gain. I mean, it's all about weaning off a better and bigger calf. At Circle A Angus in southwest Missouri, I'm Brian Baxter reporting for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.